Hello, in this episode we are going to talk about milling pockets on the sides of a body. Pockets that are very small but you can easily see that the cutter head can reach this part. But let me show you what I'm talking about. I will select the body, create a new job, use the template for a 6mm cutter head. And now I'm going to select this face, click on the button to make a pocket operation, click on apply. It only reaches this part because here the width of this small cutout is smaller than the width of the cutter head. By default the cutter head only goes goes where it has enough space. Because this face is very thin, the cutter head won't fit here. Frika doesn't know what is outside of this body. Maybe it's a different body or the frame of the CNC, so it won't automatically make this part. To mill it, I have to go to the pocket operation, go to the extensions tab, check the enable extension button, and here I have all the faces, all the edges that can be extended. If I click on it, you can see it highlighted in yellow. I will check this checkbox next to it, click on apply, but still nothing happens because the total total width of the extension and the small part of the cutout is less than the diameter of the cutter head. So I have to go to the default length, click on the formula, click clear and now I can write here a value 6 millimeters. You can see the extension growing and now if I click apply I have to change the pattern to offset. Now you can see that it mills also this small part by moving the cutter head away from the body it will just touch this face. So when creating such thin cutouts on the side of a body you can use the extensions but there are some situations when this doesn't work as it should i will delete this pocket operation edit the sketch change the initial shape to construction geometry and i will turn this circle to normal geometry in this situation it's obvious that i can move the cutter head along this face and cut it entirely well it's not that simple just making a pocket operation if i click on apply nothing happens of course because the width is smaller than the cutter head so let's go to extensions click on enable extensions here is the edge you can see it extended still nothing happens because the default length is smaller than the cutter head i will change it to six check the extension click on apply let's change the pattern to offset it's easier to see the problem is that when making a pocket the path will always be inside the bottom face of the pocket if you try to imagine the cutter head moving along this face and milling it it's obvious that at this corner and at this corner there will be a round over because the cutter head cannot go outside of this pink zone the extension but if you look at the shape that we are milling it can be cut so how can i do that well i'm going to delete the pocket operation because it's not going to be a pocket operation this time select the top line of the pocket click on a profile operation if I click apply you can see nothing happens because I have to go to the depth tab select the bottom face click on the arrow next to final depth and now if I click on apply you can see that it starts to cut right from this corner and moves along to this other corner so it will be milled exactly as it should be but there might be some situations when I simply cannot select the top line and I want to make a profile based on the bottom line select it click on a profile operation again click on apply you can see nothing happens let's go to the depth tab select the bottom but i can see that it is already 20 millimeters the correct final depth but it simply doesn't create any path if i have to select the bottom line and i want the profile to be generated i have to do a little hack i will go to the final depth click on the formula editor and after these dimensions i will add a 0.01 you can see i have an error because i have to enter the millimeters now the result is 20.01 click on apply and the path is now generated correctly so this is how you mill small cutouts on the sides of bodies the profile operation is very useful of course if i move the circle here you can see that it leads to a lot of material not being cut this means i have to first make a pocket i will change it to offset again first make the pocket then go and cut the entire edge you can see here the pocket will stop before reaching the end so with the profile operation I will finish this entire edge and make it as it should be with a straight and not a round over left from the cutter head. Of course the order is wrong, it first makes the profile and then the pocket, it should do the other way around. So I double click on the job, go to work plan, select the pocket, move it up, click on ok and now you can see first it mills the pocket then it moves to the
the profile to finish this edge. Most of the times I use this profile method just to get a smooth finish on this face. After making the pocket I just go to the profile, set a step down equal to the total milling height which is the start minus the final, the 10 millimeter step down, click on apply, you can see it's a single pass and if the cutting edge of the tool bit is high enough I will get a perfectly smooth finish on this face. So this is how you mill small pockets that cannot be otherwise milled. Let's move this back to the situation where there's just a small cutout here. Using the profile tool will cut it from one end to the other with the pocket even though I'm using extensions it simply won't cut the ends. This is the easiest method if you want to avoid drawing additional geometry for slotting or any other operation that you want to use to hack this out to be able to mill this portion of the body. Using the profile operation is the way to go. The most important thing to remember is using the 0.01 hack at the final depth. Sometimes if this doesn't work you can use 0.02 and that always works no matter what. Or the easier way to select the top line and then select the bottom face, use it for the final depth and this will also create the path. Thank you for watching and see you next time.